What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire to the War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, we are attacking this annoying Austrian force that is blockading one of my ports. So let's try to beat him up. Because my naval skills are pretty pants, I overpower them, so we've got two and a half times their number. So we should be capable of winning. Although I'll, I'll probably, I could well find some way of screwing it up. But the weather's in our favour. It's aligned broadly in the wind direction. Uh, I definitely did not need to put my Admiral first. I never like putting my Admiral first. Because he probably gonna die. So we're gonna speed up time. I mean, it's only two fifths. Same ships we've got, except we've got five of them. They've got two of them. But this is me. I mean, <laughs> I used to be fairly comp competent with naval battles. I used to be. My favourite way of growing my navy used to be explicitly um, attacking them, to uh, attacking them and capturing their ships. That's how I used to prefer to do it. I never used to build my own, I used to just capture them. Okay. So let's keep matching their turn. There we go. First shots away. No real damage. They've got their first shots away. I, mean, I could just turn into them and sail, split their formation up, potentially. The rows of Tunis is going to open up against Vera. To the back, to the rear. There we go. Shots inbound. No real damage. Those flagships lost a gun. They are reloading faster than our ships. That course correction was a bad idea because we're going to lose. Going to lose sight. We're not lose sight of them. They're going to leave our arc. Let's put on slightly fast speed because, because to be honest, this is quite a small battle. I mean. My ships don't seem capable enough of doing the damage needed, so I'm tempted to spin them around head on and try and get some raking fire on them, try to split them. Okay, now I'll switch to chain shot because they're in range. Okay, you can't dismast them. I mean, actually, you might be asking for a broadsided chain shot there. Okay, the formation's going to break up. This guy's going to take an absolute pummel in, the Rose of Tunis. Drop anchor there's pretty good. Chain shot to try to slow them down. Let's keep them firing chain shots. I might get a good shot into the into the stern of Vera. See those wavering. No, nope, you've got to go round shot instead.
Hassan Sinan going to fire on Seattle as well. Emerald's flagship is not doing well. Come on, stay steady on. Is confident. Border. So you keep sailing on in this direction, you pivot. Get your ass down here too. We start bringing our healthier ships to bear. To be honest, your port side is, or this side is very weak, and to be honest, you might actually sink. So let's do something like that to try to get you out. This trap here is sinking. Best option is to get this sucker turned around to get the main body of their guns in position. I want to get this ship here to provide fire into good, they've surrendered. Board the ship. Come on, let's get my Emerald to pivot around. Yep, our ship has sunk. So we're going to continue. Let's see if our ships can can make the intercept. There we go. She surrendered too. Good. So you got sunk. Oh, just the one. I suppose one of theirs must have sunk too. But one of theirs have sunk and the other captured. Sail back to port. And undertake whatever limited repairs can be done. <laughs> Pretty much just repainting the Hassan Sinam. It's all that can be done for now. Let's get you into, into school. Still got enemy agent here. But in one turn we'll have we'll be able to build new farms, which are an excellent cheap upgrade. Then in two turns we'll have fire by rank, and then we'll be ready to prosecute our war against the Austrians. Because Dr. be whole lot they can do to actually withstand us. Ah, they've fallen back. And they've sent some raiding forces into Istanbul. Spain's clearing out the Barbary States. That's their prerogative. <laughs> As Spain, it's probably the ideal place to expand. You'd probably want to spend more effort growing in the Americas. At least that's what I would that's what I'd probably be doing. Russian troops on the move. But at least we've opened up our port. Opened it up. It's got access to new, to more trade. And things should be good. Should be taking in more, much more, well, I say much more, more cash. We're earning about six, seven thousand. There is unused yeah, land eight thousand five hundred. It's not bad. Oh, that's seven and a half immediately. Let's upgrade the farms, because farms are quite a nice, fairly cheap upgrade. Good, good, good. Okay. So our weakened navy. They can get full repairs. Start to build some better government buildings, although they are expensive. But that is the final, that's the end of the road for that, um, for that building. Okay. Our army in Istanbul is in position, or will soon be in position. Go 
a new town, which is, yep, yeah, don't want to build there yet. Morocco has re-emerged, so let's try and, oh, I was going to say try trade with Morocco, but they don't like us anyway. Ooh, a new Greek port. I mean, it's got to be trade because we need money more than anything. Let's do some replenishment on the feline. Tech advance. So we've got common land enclosures. Do we go for animal husbandry? Yes. We've, we're building some farms. We may as well increase the money we get from farms. Once this guy's done fire by rank, he's then going to go on to European doctrine. And then Kayseri is probably going to go for explosive shells to get access to the great arsenal and howitzers. Yeah, we're getting some good iron. We've got some... Iron mines being built and so on. Moscow's finished the Winter Palace. Poland's still raiding. Austria sent in some troops. Agent detected. All those troops we've recruited that we've shifted to the correct location. We've been joined by the new fifth raid, Karaman Haider. We've also got Factory Master. For Dalabi Musa Baghdadi. So Kayseri. Factory Master, plus one dueling, plus one dueling. And then the other guy is a nothing. So Kayseri is slightly better for manufacturing. Dueling, dueling. Industrial. Okay, so let's take Rifat, bring him over to Kayseri, and let's take this guy who's nothing special, and that's weird, my iPad's just... Oh, it thinks I said Siri, that's why. So let's take this guy who's nothing... Sp oh, not you. This guy who's nothing special and ship him over to Konya. So we really want Kaiseri to actually be researching... Well, you are researching industrial technologies. Good stuff. Okie dokie, so let's hit end turn. It's something I've never really done. Balancing your schools to try specialise in certain things, because usually... I mean, usually your research rate goes sufficiently fast that it's not really a problem. The main problem you get with research is if you try to get a university that's or a school that's too low ranked to research a high tier tech. Then it goes really slow and it's like 15 turns. Uh, they're offering to pay me grand for canister. My phone's ringing. If it's that, if it's that random number I've been called by before. Oh, it's actually home. Just one sec, guys. And I'm back. I've been getting some nuisance calls from a from a problem number. Um, but actually, that was my mum. Uh, so, Fran's offering me a grand for canister technology. Yes. Because we're both friends, I'm not going to be at war with France for a while. It makes sense to keep them on the side. Ooh, aha, a proper Austrian army is coming this way. With reinforcements. So it looks like they have begun their push into our territory. Which is perfect, because we were, we were getting ready to begin the push into their territory. So let's get it on. I mean, let's see if we can hold off twice in a row. Ah. Oh. Take advantage of it while you can, Poland. You've only got it temporarily. We will be back. And it's it's really funny that I'm at war with both Pers Poland and Austria. And they they are also at war with each other. So Austria sending an army to hit me at Istanbul. And then, as you saw there, Poland is laying siege to one of their cities. The big dum dums. So, is Venice coming back? Are you gonna try it on? Ah, oh, they've found one of my ships out of port. That's a pretty decently ranked admiral for the Genoese.
Well, I'm not bothered enough to go and set their fleet. It was only a Dao or a or a Jebek. Something suitably small. So many units, your treasury is buckling under the weight of their upkeep. Oh, that's why. It's because it's my capital port. And it looks like Austria is always oh, carrying on with its. Right, so let's take. So, what troop units have you got here? Two units of infantry. Okay, let's take. I haven't got any big build. Well, I can't spend any money. That's a, that's for darn sure. Let's get these guys across. Let me to go and intercept this army and begin our push. I also want to move up. I move this cavalry out. I can without them freaking out. I don't. Want, I don't need my army. I want them to. I want this. I want them to be part of a splinter force to go south and secure this port. So let's take my prepared navy and go and attack this Austrian ship. Hopefully, hey, it's another wearer. We lost ship, but did we lose? <laughs> so we captured another wearer. So we've got one, two. So you're going to be wearer. Two. <laughs> get them in port. No, she's getting back in port. It's back here. Oh, I can't replenish. Stop. Because I'm not making. Oh, I'm. Oh, good. Because I'm. Because I freed up the port in Athens, I've still got trade. Well, let's take the first outing for Hoshkadem Melvana. Who currently has no traits and no anything. He's going to intercept Ludwig von Baden-Baden. Let's go take him out. First outing for a new model Ottoman army. Let's do it. So we, get, we need to free up our port. Fortify it with a decent number of troops. At least for now, because it's so exposed on the front line. I didn't actually... Because I thought Ankara was my capital. I didn't really appreciate how vulnerable it is. Okay, here looks like a good position for some artillery. But to be honest, I think this is going to be a bit of a slugfest. put all my artillery up here. Let's put a unit of cavalry out here to protect them. So our central line is going to be made up of our Janissaries and Israelis. So this will be an interesting time. A good time to test out my uh, strategy. Have I not picked... I don't think, I didn't check, I don't think we've got fire at rank yet. Well, we'll soon find out. So on this flank, I'm going to have this unit of horse, my riskers of souls, pushing up. With a janissary unit to provide some support. Then let's put some Sekban janissaries on the other flank, pushing up, general in the centre. I mean, it sounds like they've started charging already. I can see the cavalry moving up in the woods. Okay. Halt. 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 Help these guys to also get some shots off. This could be an interesting test case for my... I don't want to send my cavalry in. 
Send in my riskers of souls. These are obviously these are melee troops. You can't shoot. Oh, I forgot. These are these aren't regular grenadiers. These are melee troops. Provincial cavs, so they can't actually do anything to my cav at range. Charge my cavalry in, run my whisk whiskers of souls up. Join them in combat. Where's my artillery? Got you in your grenadiers. Dang nabbit. Okay, my square's broken. There's also square. There's also cavalry coming in. So engage them with my cavalry. Also send in my riskers of souls. Go on, tag them. Tagged. Okay, let's see if we've got... We might have fire by rank. We'll have, there we go, we'll have just got it this turn. Okay, so I've deployed these giant trees way out of the way. And these guys do have guns. Run my cavalry in. Angle these troops. So it's got my cavalry to hit the line infantry, and then Riskers of Souls can also join them. Actually engaging in anything. Yeah, that's fine. This is why houses I think might be more useful if I'm planning on being more fluid. This because of soul should be cutting them up. But they do have bayonets, so it won't be as effective. No, nope, don't run it too far. Rays are loading. Charge the gorillas. This is right. Recharge my riskers of souls, which I didn't really plan on. All the lines on them. Everyone charging. Okay, 
plan is for everyone to be enveloped. Swarm upon them. So we'll take more casualties this way, but it feels like more the Ottoman way of going to war. So everyone here that isn't cavalry, just form a line. General's bodyguard, let's kick him into gear. Absolutely continue. Gonna chase after them. Brought my Delhi horsemen out on the flank. Okay, this is a perfect target for you, that's Swiss infantry. I'm gonna lose some janissaries in the charge, but. Good stuff. Go on, all of you work on foot distance from my infantry. Okay, you're shooting, so stop. Awesome. Let's get the infantry to stop. Let's get the Deadly Horseman to take him on. Not the Deadly Horseman, Mamelukes. Get the, these Mamelukes to go after this unit of Irregulars. As there's only two of them. One of them seemingly died of fright. Everyone against this unit of infantry, although to be honest, they're either going to kill a bunch of my infantry on the way, no, they routed, or we killed them. So I'm not, I'm not expecting that in my other campaigns. Uh, even that's still pretty good. Um, I want to see slaughter in my in my armies. I want to see melee fights. That's what I would like to see. I mean, that doesn't mean I need to have the cash to support such an endeavour. But that was a pretty good win. Then as we expand and grow Istanbul, our garrison becomes stronger. But your first pull of coal when you can move again is to go retake the city. Potentially engage Bernhard Reiska. Um, because I don't remember, I don't quite know exactly how long the episode was. What end of the turn, because I didn't check. Let's hit end turn and see what happens. That looks like another British army is coming to attack me. And they shall be repelled once more. The swines. They will not be able to withstand us. Demand Palestine. So you want me to give you Palestine, which is a fairly poor nation. And you'll give me the Wind of Windward Islands, which only has one one sugar plantation so you're offering me to you're asking me to break up my territory make it incoherent for and to give you common land enclosures to, to gain one sugar sugar mill i don't think so yep austria's on the run oh no they're not oh they fancy it we need to get our boys replenished And go and free... Which must the port eat? Unless the Venetians go and blockade it. Or they might just sit outside and not really blockade it, but not really attack it. Maybe. Either way, we are on the offensive. Officially. Which is nice. It'd be nice to take Vienna in a symbolic gesture. There you go. Good guys, Venice. Off you go. So we should be back on to full earning capacity. 
Yeah, pirates can be pirates. I don't there care about the pirates. Land suitable for plantations in this region. Yeah, they sabotaged the trade port before they left. So we're still not making all our, all our cash. But can I? Okay, I need to cancel building this so I can get these guys to the area. I may actually spend this turn replenishing them rather than rebuilding the port because if we're going to do that next turn. Let's so bring in the cavalry in and let's build a grand see Let's start that ball rolling. I don't want to repair anything yet because they could just push on and attack us anyway. Or just raid us. Take advances. We've got animal husbandry. Nope, don't research carbines. Why did I miss that go on and do maybe socket bayonets first because the most immediately useful thing on the battlefield and then we'll go on to the European doctrine Kaiserni I want you to do flying shuttle I've not got that much textile industry well no I've got a fair I've got a reasonable few buildings I think or at the very least, as I expand, it will means my economy will grow even faster. God, the Poles took Berlin. <laughs> they, they've really got pressure when on the ropes. Agents can carry out spy missions. Hashishin can infiltrate. Use Hashishin to damage. No, don't worry about damaging things yet. Spend our last bit of cash rebuilding. Doing some replenishment for this guy. Sweet. Let's hit one more in turn. In the hopes of maybe ending the turn on something more interesting. It would be nice to raise another small army in Greece. Because the problem with the Balkans is because it's very mountainous, there's lots of passes that, that the enemy can traverse. So I could send my army up one and they could send another army down the other and we'd bypass each other. Okay, let's try two grand. Fair enough. They won't pay two grand. Yeah, so see, I can attack Bulgaria, but then this, there's a mountain pass that I just can't get past. I'll probably be able to, I'll be able to, I will be able to explain it better once I get onto my turn. I can show you the problem. But for now, I mean, the Russians are starting to send agents down to infiltrate me and try and steal my research. But it's going to go badly on them. In the grand scheme. Because we're going to invade them and take all their stuff. Oh, the Italians push the Spanish back out. The Barbary State's going to go and blockade Austrian blockade San Hispaniola. Yep. Hispaniola. Well, they did blockade it and they changed their minds, but now they're back. Now they're away. Now they're... Good God. Schizophrenic pirates. To construct useful buildings here has yet to be... Yep, I can't build that there yet. Okay, let's run this cavalry down to garrison the port. Because we've got a light cavalry unit there. Repair it. It's taken up the bulk of my cash. And let's recruit an Israelis unit just to add a bit more of a garrison to Istanbul. Is my agent. Is that. God, my agent hates. <laughs> hates people so much. Right, okay. Go to. He's not, a... he's not actually converting the population at all because he's got hearty dislike of Europeans. Well, you're not going to move, Sonny. You're there for the duration. So my force that's replenishing, let's lease... We'll get ready to lay siege to Bulgaria. And then we can do a bit of... a few repairs onto some of our farms. Actually, I might be better off building the Israelis down here so I can move them up to help, help garrison Thessaloniki. Sweet, um, but looking at the timer now, I'm sure I'm probably over. So, 
Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for my Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. Cheers everyone.